We're in Microsoft Word 2013. I'm going to show you how to change the columns on a document. By default, there's just one column, but if you'd like, you can make changes to that. So first, let's make a change to the size of our font. Now let's go over to the Page Layout tab and click on Columns in the drop-down. From here, we can click on 2 and watch what happens to the bar at the top here. You see we now made two columns. So there's going to be one and two. We can get to the second column just by tabbing down is one way to do it. And then it, when it gets to the end of the page, it will jump to the next column. And if we want, we can hit the drop down and we can choose three. And we see three different segments now. change the font size on that. And if we want to move from one to the other, there we go. We can have another one right there. If we want to change all the fonts at once, just select them all and choose any size you want. And we can go on to additional columns if we want. We can also choose left and right columns. And we can choose more columns to see additional options, such as the column width, number of columns, lines between. We can cover the entire document or just from that point forward. You can see when you click on the buttons how the columns change and the way they look. You can also see column width change when you decide to make changes as well. So that's columns in Microsoft Word 2013.